Hello there guys and welcome back. If you can't tell by looking, I'm not in my usual surroundings. I am in fact in my new studio, which as you can see, isn't quite finished. But this is sort of the transition period. We're gonna get there. Uh, this is the first look at it though, so kind of underwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> I set up some lights and, and we're just gonna make the best of it. But anyway, what I wanted to talk to you today about is the, the shirt that I named Best work shirt of 2020, the Patagonia Workwear Farrier's shirt. Now, this thing, it's amazing. And I've bought several more since that first video. Now, when it comes to shirts, especially shirts for work, usually guys fall into one of two categories, either t-shirt guys or long sleeve t-shirt guys and button up guys. Now, of course, either one may have some of the other, but there are definitely guys who I can think of right off the bat who show up to the job site every day with a button down work shirt. All right, and I, I tend to fall into this category. First of all, I really like the way it looks. It looks a little bit more dressed up. But the other thing is that there's a lot more utility in a work shirt. You know, the ability to just unbutton and roll up your sleeves or put a pen in your pocket. A lot of times they have dedicated pen pockets. There's just so much more that you can do with a button up shirt. Now, some companies get it right, and some don't. For example, I have probably four or five of the Duluth Trading Company uh, flannel shirts, you know, and I think they were just called their Burley flannel shirt or something. I got a bunch of those, and I actually, they were really, really good, but they had a couple shortfalls, like they had a little cell phone pocket in there, which was meant to fit a 2005 era flip phone, and now it just gets filled with junk, and you have to empty it out, you know, wood chips and stuff like that. They're also cut like a box, and that tends to be the problem with most workwear is that, you know, in order to give you that freedom of movement, they have to cut things extra big. So if you're a guy who's not extra big, and you're on the slimmer side, you're gonna look like you're wearing your dad's clothes. Or take, for example, the first work shirts that I ever bought. I got them at Bob's when I was first uh, in the trade as an electrician. And I remember seeing them and thinking, well, those are pretty cool. They were like 40 bucks pick them up, I still have a few, and the fact that 15 years later I still have these things, now they've been repaired, they've definitely gone through the wash many, many times. The fact that I still own them, however, does say something about the quality of the shirt. Now, you're not gonna win any style points with these. They are very much early 2000s, 1990s Carhartt, where they used a lot of very saturated colors, big block colors, that's what they used to do. Now they've moved, moved it to more like heathers and textures and stuff like that but this is definitely early Carhartt stuff, and it was my first work shirt. Now, fast forward to last year when I reviewed the Patagonia workwear line, you know, what I bought. Of the three pieces that I bought, the Farrier shirt was by far the best. Now, the other ones were pretty good, you know? The pants, I think, had a little bit of work to be done. The jacket was definitely too big, but that Farrier shirt, it was awesome. Since then, I've gotten several more. I mean, it just had these big cavernous pockets uh, nice metal buttons. It was actually fit pretty nicely to your body and it looked great as well. Plus it felt like it was broken in right out of the box. So let's get into a little bit more of why I named this 2020's work shirt of the year. Of course, the main feature here is the fabric itself, which is a nice thick nine ounce hemp blend. The exact mix is 55% industrial hemp and 45% recycled polyester. This is a very Patagonia thing, being the paragon of environmental responsibility, they have specific reasons behind every choice they make. For example, hemp is a pretty incredible material. It's a natural fiber, needs little to no irrigation, and actually replenishes the soil that it's planted in, not to mention that it's tougher than cotton, and Patagonia claims that their iron forge hemp is 25% more abrasion resistant than traditional cotton duck. In 1993, Patagonia was the first brand to transform trash into fleece and spearheaded the trend we still see today. While organic fibers like hemp, wool, and cotton are typically preferred, polyester does have its place. It can add stretch, strength, and color fast elements to natural materials. It's really unlike anything else that I own and this nature makes it a shirt that I wear all the time since it's so comfortable. I really can't speak to the claimed abrasion resistance just yet, but after a year of wear, I don't really see much wear at all, but maybe a slightly lighter color in the high wear areas, you know, like the elbows, but that's it. Sewn to this fabric are those quite exquisite buttons I mentioned earlier. Four whole metal buttons are found on the cuffs, the placket, and the chest pockets. Now, I know, I know, they're just buttons, 
but they really are excellent. They're one of the things that set this shirt above the competition. Speaking of pockets, these two chest pockets are huge, and they have the ability to expand even more thanks to their pleated design. I can fit an entire 25 foot tape measure in one of them. Now, of course, you're probably never gonna do that, but it's an example of how much capacity you actually have available. I mean, a handful of wire nuts or some pipe fittings, whatever your little heart desires, can probably fit in one of these chest pockets. It doesn't end there though. While most work shirts have one pencil sleeve, some work better than others. For example, the opening a lot of the times is on top of a pocket flap. Now this is fine, unless you have to open the pocket flap, then it really becomes useless. The Patagonia ones sit just inside of each pocket. A simple and effective solution, really the best that I've seen to date. Good work shirts allow you to move freely. Now as working people, we're always reaching overhead, stretching and contorting ourselves in weird ways. And the Farrier shirt has a nice big box pleat on the back, which makes moving easy. The hem of the shirt is long enough to be tucked in if you wish, but it's cut with a straight hem. So if you wear this shirt untucked, you won't look like a complete ragamuffin. But you know, there's one more thing, which really doesn't have a lot to do with work or function. And that's the fact that this shirt actually looks damn good. Now, of course, that's secondary to a work shirt's nature. You know, you want it to perform first and then look good second. At least I do. That's kind of the nature of workwear in general. But really, the Patagonia Farrier shirt in the black and red looks just as good as any other Buffalo plaid shirt that I've ever bought. Now, style-wise, workwear, doesn't really matter. If a shirt looks good, it just looks good. And I think that's partly due to the nature of the hemp material, which has a natural texture to it. So all of those reasons are why I picked this as my 2020 work shirt of the year. But of course, it does come at a premium. $89 is not cheap for a work shirt. Now there are other brands out there who are getting close to the same thing, but that's why we're gonna have a look right now at a couple of competitive options. The Duluth Trading Co. Duluth Flex Fire Hose Relaxed Long Sleeve Shirt, boy that's a mouthful, comes in at $70. Now at the time of this writing it's actually on sale, but we're gonna go with the regular price. $70. And you know, this does have a lot of cool stuff. It has similar things like pencil pockets and stretch fabrics and it looks pretty burly. It's a nice looking work shirt, but again, 70 bucks. For $55, you can get the Carhartt Rugged Flex Rigby Long Sleeve Work Shirt, which looks great too. Now again, a lot of times a work shirt layout is very, very similar, but I would say that both the Carhartt and the Duluth look like work shirts, and that may be good or bad depending on who you are. And then we have much cheaper options like the $27 long sleeve work shirt from Dickies. Now, this is in a twill and it certainly looks like a work shirt. Twill looks like a uniform type material. And if that's what you want and you know what you're after, maybe this is a better option for you. But at the end of the day, is $89 too much for a work shirt? Now, that's something that only you can answer. Really, I don't think so. And this is why. Number one, you're gonna wear it more because it's more comfortable and it looks better. So you could possibly be wearing this thing when you're not at work. I certainly do. The other thing is too, if that hemp material is in fact 25% more abrasion resistant, then that means this thing's gonna be around 25% longer than my other products. So that justifies that increase in price. And finally, there's the environmental impact aspect of it. And Patagonia is really setting the example for other companies. And this may mean a lot to some people, other people won't care so much. For my own use though, I think that the fact that this thing is as comfortable as a lot of shirts that I've bought just for style, but it still works hard, it's a home run. So that makes this thing not just a work shirt. It's actually a shirt that I would say is more of a casual shirt that you can work in. And that's what makes it such a home run. And I still stand by my statement. This is the best work shirt that I, I was able to wear in 2020. When I said it the first time, I didn't stumble in my words though. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the new location. It's going to get better from here, I promise. This is just something I set up on, uh, on the fly to get these videos out to you. But um, more coming. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. So all of those components... So all of those compo... So all of those components, the fact that it's tough, it works well, allows you to work... You know, so all of those reasons, the fact that it looks good, it performs very well in its... So for, so for all of those reasons, the fact that it looks good, it performs well in its category, and...